lovelies and welcome to my channel yes i know it's been a while so yeah today's video as per the title we are going to relax my hair two months two weeks ago i relaxed my hair and it has grown again it's been so so tough underneath my hair i don't know how come it grew this really fast so i'm going to relax the hair so what i'm going to use to relax the hair today is the ORS olive oil hair relaxer so i've opened the box and this is the items in it it has the hair relaxer in the little container and then it has the activator in this one two are a neutralizer and a shampoo so that's that's the little things inside the, the box so i'm going to mix it and start straight away with relaxing the hair so the mixing of the cream is done it's quite really pale so you can't see it but you can see the container very little this is going to go a long way doing the whole of my hair so what i'm going to start with now is taking off the hair band on my hair and then part my hair into sections and start applying the hair relaxer into it so this is my hair how it looks now and i'll bring it closer see if you can see the new growth the new growth has separated itself from my relaxed hair it's funny you can see lots of like natural hairs all around there so yeah i'm going to start parting the hair into sections I normally do this part using like an extra mirror behind and be able to see all the parts but this time i'm not using any mirror so just imagination because i can see the back of my hair and what i'm doing there i have to use like imagination to this pattern in the back because i don't want to go and carry any other mirrors and be looking at the back of my hair and all that i think it's in uh, two parts now so i'm going to divide this one part into another two sections Dividing the hair into smaller sections make it easier for me when I'm applying the relaxer into the hair in that way you work with like smaller like each section when you go along it also helps you see right underneath the hair so that you can apply the cream properly I think the pattern of the hair is done <laughs> I'm not sure you can see it properly anyway I'm searching it into about four parts so what I'm going to do now is just put on my gloves and start putting the hair relaxer into my hair I'm going to use my comb to start with and then I'm going to continue with my my fingers I mean with the gloves on because sometimes applying the relaxer with the hands are more easier especially when you're doing it yourself than using the comb when you can't see the back and other parts of it time to apply the hair relaxer into the hair as you can see i'm applying it from the root of my hair where the hair has grown from meaning i'm going to section each part of the the hair that i've pre-sectioned there already like into smaller sections and apply the hair relaxer right onto the root side of it and then make sure the cream goes in enough because one of my videos i realized i put the relaxer into my hair and it wasn't enough it wasn't a lot so some part of the hair relaxed properly and other parts did not because there was no enough cream there so i learned from that and so yeah this one i decided to put it enough into it and properly you know i'm taking a lot of time to do this process to make sure i do it right and yes to the end of it this hair really came really good it came out really really nice all the hair was really beautifully relaxed and really smooth so as i'm showing you this certain is done similar way in a in a salon when you go to a salon for people to do it for you but you know that one is someone who is doing it so it's more easier this one is a bit different especially when you're doing it yourself and you have to you know like get the relaxer right into the roots and all that and just get the hair through it's a bit difficult complicated than someone doing it for you if you understand what i mean yeah so i've put in the relaxer into i think the first and second sections of the hair i'm just wrapping it around away from the rest that is left and then i'm going to do the back one too i've divided it into about four sections if you remember it. yeah i'll do the back ones too i just cut those ones all off so that the video will not become too long for us to <laughs> to just be dragging over yeah so i think i'm almost done with that one too when i finish with the back one i'm going to wrap it around again and then come back and start from where i started the whole hair from i think that's the last one i'm working on yeah and then i'm i'm coming back to start on the one with the the one i'm taking off now i'm going to restart it over again that is the first one i started so i'm not massaging if you say i'm massaging no i'm just like working out the relaxer through the hair i made sure that i took it away from the the tips of the hair as much as i could until i was getting to the very end when i was working throughout it before the relaxer was able to even get to the end day to not do any much to it because it has done its work already anyway so i just wrap it all around just to keep it out of the way and so i also decided to use the bigger comb to comb the hair through you know to make it a bit more free it gets more softer you know when the relaxer works through your hair your new growth hair it becomes very smooth that even a tail comb can go through it very nicely 
I'm done applying the hair relaxer to my hair. I think my face already look fresh. <laughs> when I wash it off, it's going to look even better. I think I'm enjoying this hair relaxing process. I used to like my natural hair, but you know, it's giving me so much headache. And I think this hair relaxing is, is a life changer for me because I don't do things to my hair anymore. I don't do any like braiding or stuff. And if my hair is that tough and I have to keep washing and washing it, it's so much stressful. So yeah, this is the best option for me. I'm going to wash the hair and come and show you how it looks i'm back and done washing my hair and i'm going to see how it looks look like my hair keeps growing every day <laughs> it's now almost getting to the shoulders well it's on and let me bring the head closer so that you can see this hair relaxer has done a perfect job just as i wanted it no more breakage of hairs and all the hair is so so smooth just coming to getting it ready to put careless in the hair my observation from my previous hair growth i observed that the frontal and the center of my hair do really grow very very fast and really long than the outside part of it i don't know why what i'm going to do now is i'm going to spray in my dr santi anti-hair loss spray into the hair i bought this off uh just my look site and a few other products which i've not started using yet hopefully i review them soon next i'm going to put in andrew button gloss boss living serious shine that's a long name so i'm going to spray that into the hair my plan is to put the hair into careless but i don't know if it will work so i will try and see if it does work because I haven't curled my hair in, I mean, a really long time and it does give a fresh look to my face. I'm going to spray the heat defense spray into my hair. Quite a lot of product has gone into the hair already and still not finished. I'm going to put in the hair mousse. According to this mousse, it gives volume to the hair. Oh, very soft. Oh, I love this. All right, so I'm going to put this hair careless into the hair. I mean, to curl the hair. Okay, so to start this process, just as is done in the salon most times, they normally use the you know the roll up the, the like plastic type. Yes, that is commonly used in the salons. But I decided to use this one because I've used it a few times and it works really well for my hair and it's easier to you know just wrap around when you are doing it yourself than using the other one so i have a lot of the plastic ones but i just decided to use this one anyway because it does also really curl your hair really nicely and so yeah i'm just putting this all into the hair in like little sections <laughs> it's a bit difficult doing the back one when i get there so just starting from the frontal part of the hair make sure it's all done there and as i keep uh, putting the careless i brush all the hair like backwards if you know what i mean yeah it makes the hair easier when you are like patting them down to just leave them like that so i keep brushing them back to just make the whole process easier and so i finished with that i'm just going to let that uh, you know dry up and this was the reason why i used the heat defense spray you know to protect my hair from the heat prior before putting the hair careless in so for now i think the hair is getting dried i'm not so sure yet so i'm going to try and take one of it off and see how it looks like it's almost there but not fully Quite a long way to go so i think i'm going to put this one back in I bought this plastic hair drying stuff off eBay. I just attach it to my hair dryer and it makes your hair really dry nicely. So just using that and now checking the hair to see how far it has gone. So this is organic shea butter. I took the first color off and I think it's dry. So I'm going to be putting the butter underneath my scalp as I take off the hair curlers some part of the hair has dry really nicely you know and properly but some part is not fully dry i think the one at the back there is not fully fully dry so when i finish with this all i put my hair again into that plastic thing i did it off camera anyway to cut the whole thing short and then it was okay now all the hair is all dry i mean really dry now very very bone dry i'm just like uh, separating them because you know it has all like curled up and all that and see how that hair looks i also did that um use gel to just slick off the front one away i did also the one off camera just to cut the whole thing short and this is how far we've gone it looked like a mini wig very healthy looking with volume so yeah this is the end result of my hair relaxing today i just put it into the curly 
rolled and then they are dry I dried them with uh, heat and took their colors off and then I style them and well this is the best style I can do I can just comb it all like one side that is all I could do at the moment I'm going to take this for about three or four days after relaxing your hair it's good to give the hair a wash and then uh, you know maybe any excess chemicals that is in it can get out at that time so after that i'll do maybe braids or something else on my hair so i hope you do enjoy today's video and you like my little hairstyle <laughs> thank you for watching today's video i will see you in the next one bye